Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's Drew Two, and I'm back at you again with another video. Shout out to the Galactic Family. Salute, Drew Nation. I need every member to click that like button, click that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's hop right into it. Look, I don't know who this message is for, but stop texting people who don't like you because you're giving them too much power and they don't deserve all that. Let's talk about it. When you like someone and you first see them, you got high interest, you, you ask them for their phone number, you, you're really interested. Oh man, I just, just got to walk up, talk to him, talk to her, get her number. You got to get his number and you go off on, on, on about your day. All right. And like I said, I don't know who this message is for, but I felt the need to make this video. Um, don't text people that don't show you the same interest back. You can't be blinded. You can't be blinded by their looks. You can't be blinded by their appearance. You can't let the allure of this person lure you in. And, and snare you. You got to stay focused out here. Literally. You got to stay focused. There's things you need to be doing. There's something you need to be putting more time and energy into. You need to be more focused on where you're going in life with your life. More than somebody who didn't even maybe see you. This person may not have even seen you. You saw them. You went, you went up to them. You got their number from them. This person was just living their life. And if that person is not duly, equally interested, you are setting yourself up for failure. You're setting yourself up to have your time wasted. You're setting yourself up to invest your time and energy, which is a form of currency because they're currents. And when you waste, when you pour all your current out where it don't belong, you don't get that back. Think about that. Don't, don't think about it just like, oh, I'm just talking to her. Oh, I'm just talking to him. Oh, you're just texting them. You're just, you're just uh, uh, trying to reach out. No, that's, actual that's energy that you're giving that person you're making that person feel like they're the sh and they don't deserve all that especially not from you not from anybody watching this video not from the not from the chosen vessels no 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 homie don't play that you have to be putting your time and energy where it's supposed to be at on that dream on that goal, on that vision. You got things to make. You got things to create. You got things to look up. You got things to research. You got things to learn. You got you to gotta fill this with, with things that will help you create what you want. You got to fill this with things that will help you within the next couple weeks be in a different position rather than investing that time and energy into someone else and you're still in the same situation, still where you are. If, it, if it's not where you want to be, you need to be focused on where you want to go, not someone else. That time and energy can be used for something. That time and energy can be used to make you greater. Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you want to get in shape. Maybe you want to start learning some new things to to, to prepare for yourself. Maybe you want to start to put your money in other areas in your life and you want to stop eating out so much so you need to, you want to make your food and you need to learn some new recipes. All right, maybe, maybe you're tired of eating out. Maybe you want to switch it up. Maybe you want to health it up. Maybe you want to learn some new recipes. All right, maybe, maybe, maybe you want to create something new. Maybe you want, maybe you, yo, maybe you want to make Maybe you want to make 
something and sell it and profit off of it. Maybe, maybe you make the best cookies in town. Maybe you, maybe you make the best cookies in town. Chocolate chip, just be smacking. Package that thing up. Brand that thing up. Market that thing up. You got to do it. You got to make it happen. I done seen so many hot dog stands pop up randomly. You got you to do something. I mean, I've, I've been seeing some hot dog stands. And that video is coming soon. Don't you know, damn, I know. I don't eat no hot dog. Okay, that, that video is coming soon. I don't eat no hot dog now. You don't want, you don't want to do it. I think I, I think I know exactly when I'm going to drop that one. But stop texting people. You got things to do. You can't be pouring all that love. Just pouring all just pouring all that love out. I know, I know you need some love. I, I know somebody out there that needs some love. I know you need some love. I know. Trust me, I know. But you have to love yourself like nobody else. You gotta love yourself first. You can't be pouring all that love out. Just you just you gonna be empty. Ain't gonna be none left for you. Just you gonna empty empty it all out. It ain't it ain't gonna be none left for you. Ain't gonna be none left for you. You gotta make sure you have some love left for you. You got to. Because if if you are put investing time and energy into people who aren't investing time and energy into you, it's gonna be lopsided. It's gonna be leaning to the side. Like that truck I told you about in my video that was gang stalking me and got caught in a ditch. That I saw that truck parked up is still on the gangster lean. You don't want your love to be lopsided on the gangster lean. You want to be able to 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 you want to be able to e- e- be evened out by a person, not not emptied out by a person. People are supposed to be evening each other out. I only need ten percent from you because I got a whole ninety percent. I only need 10% from you because I got a whole 90%. And then that little 10% from him, that little 10% from her, or whatever the percentage, y'all good. But you have you have to love yourself first. And before you can love anybody else, you got to love you. And the love I suggest you focus on is the love from God. Ain't nobody going to love you like God. When you focus on that love from God, that's never ending. Nothing can damage that. Nothing can destroy that. That ain't going to, that's not going to, that's not going to break you. He made you. He doesn't want to break you. God don't want to break you. He just want to make you into who he created you to be. So why not, instead of putting in all that time, just texting people, trying to reach out to people, trying to make friends with people that obviously don't want to be your friend trying to talk to people that obviously don't want to talk to you. I know it hurts. I know I know you want some friends. I know you'd like to have a, 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 a special somebody. I know I get it. But you got to become that special somebody. You got to become special yourself. You got to see yourself as special. You got to see yourself as unique. You got to see yourself as the one. What you already are. You already, already obviously know you are the one. Unforgettable, uncomparable, unmatchable. Can't cannot compete. Nobody can compete with you. So why pour all that into another when you could be pouring all that into you, into yourself? You can't expect somebody to give you what they don't have. Somebody don't have love for you, you can't make them give it to you. You cannot make somebody give you love that just doesn't have it in it for in them for you. If the interest isn't there, it's not anywhere. Not in here or in here. But you have to focus on that love from God, the love from the creator, person that wakes you up every day and helps you get home safe. Focus on his love. That way you will be a vibrational match and be able to attract that what is supposed to be for you. What's for you is for you and Nobody will be able to destroy that, ruin that, take that away from you. That that person will be so interested in you, you won't have to force anything. It won't feel forced. 
You'll feel the force, but it won't feel forced. I said you'll feel the force, but it won't feel forced. You don't want you don't want it to feel forced. All right? And I understand sometimes you need somebody. Sometimes you're alone. Sometimes you're cold. Sometimes you just sometimes you just sometimes you just want to be held. As I said it, sometimes you just want to be held. All right? Sometimes you just want it. Sometimes you just want a, a warm embrace. I understand. But don't set don't don't sell yourself short. Don't pick no low hanging fruit. Don't settle yourself short. Don't get with somebody just to be. Don't get. Do not get with somebody just to be with somebody. Do not get with somebody just to be with somebody. See, people, so many people are afraid to be alone. And they don't end up being able to find that love of their own. One day you will find a love of your own, but you have to be okay with being alone. Got to be okay with being alone. How else are you going to know who you are? How else are you going to know what you really like, what you dislike, what you don't like? How else? How, how are you going to know? How else are you going to know? For real, though. Keep it real with yourself. How, I, I mean, how else are you going to know? You got to keep it real with you. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta bear through it. You gotta fight through it. You gotta learn to accept yourself. You gotta learn to love yourself more and more each day. You gotta tell yourself every day in every way, I get better and better. You got to. So that way you can be the person that you want in your life. You gotta be able to give what you want. You have to be the person that you are trying to attract. Whatever you want in the person, if you can't give it, what are you doing looking for it? You got to, you got to be, if you are trying to get the whole full hundred percent, you at least be out of, you at least be able, you at least have to be able to do 50. If all you could do is 50, do all you can do. The person will see that. They'd be like, yo, this person got potential. Yo, I see her. Yo, she got it going on. I see, I see Shorty trying her best. I see her doing her thing. She is, she is the best in her, what she what she got going on right now, and I'm not even talking about uh, 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 making making it look good. I'm talking about it, it. It's straight the way it is. I see. I see this person doing their thing. The the I see this person the best version of themselves on the level they on right now. This person about to. This person got some breakthroughs coming. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. All right. So look, focus on yourself. You got to build yourself up. You got to build yourself into something. You got to become someone. If that's your type, a six figure rich figure. If you want to, if you want to, if you want you a rich figure, if you, if you want you a six figure rich figure, if that, if that's what you want, I can, I, yo, if that's if that's what you feel that you deserve, hey, you best be you 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 best be learning some financial literacy up in here up in here. You you better be learning some financial literacy. You better be an aid to somebody process up in here. You 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 better be. Uh, you, I researched that for you. Appreciate it. Yo, I uh, I read all these books. I I I, uh, I know how to manage. I know how to get your your shipment in. I know how to get your order in. I got you. All right. You got. You have to be a partner. You have to be able to bring something to the table. You can't just put your hand out because you're able. It can't just be gimme gimme gimme. You got to be able to add something. You got to be able to bring something. All right. More more than just body parts. More than just body parts to the table. More on both on both sides. More than just body parts. All right, body and brains. It's about body and body out of brain, brain, brain. It's about brains too. It's about brains. It's not just about body. It's about brains. All right, what 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 is motivating that body? What's moving that body? What 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 is how what is telling that body to do what it's doing? How how is that body operating through life? All right. Is, is, is this person a demon? Is this person evil? 
Is this person good? All right. When, 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 you, when, what, when people have a, a, a spirit that's not right and you get with them, you, you're losing yourself. When you're get, even when you're giving energy to somebody that's not right, you're losing yourself. It's not like uh, trying to get with someone or talk to somebody where you were clicking and that was a person that you could have actually been able to do something with. There's really no loss of energy there. It's like, oh, okay, maybe next time or it just wasn't meant to be. You should always have the mindset that if something doesn't work out, it was in divine order. You should always have the mindset that if things don't work out, it was meant for you and not against you. And this is with everything. And this is how you don't get marred by your own thinking. People are marring themselves. People are creating cruel fates for themselves by how they set their mind up. You got to see things and you got to see everything leading you to your desired reality. That's how you got to program your mind. You have to see everything divinely guiding you to your end goal. You feel me? If you feel you are you picking up what I'm putting down? All right. So look. You have to, you got to make yourself what you want yourself to be. You have to make yourself what you want your partner to be or what you see your partner being. You have to, if you, if you are into money, you can't just want somebody to be rich and sweep you off your feet. You have to be into business. You have to be into financing. You have to be into money making. All right. You have to learn uh, how to make money, learn how to invest money, learn where to put money, research real estate, learn real estate, become a realtor, become a financier. All right. Be- become, become an entrepreneur. If you, if you want money in your life, you can't just be wanting somebody in your life with money. You should want to have your own money. Don't be lazy out here. Ain't nobody, no, no, somebody that is rich and wealthy and successful is going to be attracted to somebody that is able to work on them in those areas all right not saying that you're going to be right beside them in the business meeting but when it comes to being at home if they need you to to do this or be able to do that or be able to uh finance this while i'm working on that or do that while i'm over here creating this that's cool that's appreciated you're going to be able to to build with that person because you're you're bringing more than the table more to the table all right, you can't just be around somebody just getting on their nerves, bugging the crap out of them. Can't do that either. That's not going to work neither. But yo, so we don't get sidetracked. Don't text people that aren't interested in you. Almost almost got lost. All right. Don't text people who aren't interested in you. When people are interested in you, you'll know. I just had I just had to tell you guys the type of person that you want to be. If you want to attract the type of person that you want. So that way you won't be wasting your time texting, texting, texting somebody who's not interested in you. You want to be able to put that time and energy into yourself to become the person that you would want to find. So you have to put that time and energy into yourself instead of texting people who don't deserve all that. People who don't deserve your time and energy. You're wasting your precious time and energy. It's yours. You'll never get it back. If it's not reciprocated, the person don't like you. I know it's a hard pill to swallow. I know you saw this person. I know they look like this and they look like that. I know they they, they all that in a bag of chips. Well, guess what? Don't put so much energy into that person. You need to feel that way about yourself. And if you don't, you need to self-improve. You can go to the gym. You can start eating better. You can start dressing different. You can start dressing better. You can uh, create more time for yourself. You you can find different ways to improve your life. You can make things better. You don't have to be exactly the the way. um, You don't have to uh, be exactly the way that person is. But you can you can be a mirror image of what you want. That's all I'm saying. Become a mirror image of what you want. Figure out what it is what you want to be. All right, do what do what it is what you want to do with your life instead of giving all that time and energy to another person that doesn't deserve it. You want to find people that are are worth your time. You want to find people that deserve your energy. If somebody doesn't deserve it, they're not worth it. All right? So, it's, it 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 really will benefit you to focus on yourself 
and not try to get into any relationship, not try to get seriously involved with someone. You need to be getting seriously involved with your finances. You need to be getting seriously involved with your life a business. That's why people be getting together and then the first arguments they get in, what are what are the arguments about when people get into a relationship? This, not enough of this. So that's why you were so busy worried about texting them. You didn't even get your life together. You didn't even think about that part. So I know that person was, I know that person looked good. I know that person is fine. I know you want that person, but guess what? You can attract somebody that looks similar to that person but it's the person that you want. That person is out there. That person is not the person for you. That person doesn't like you. If they're not giving you the same energy, they're just your type. They're just your type of person. So what you have to do is you got to find the person that looks how you want them to look. That is the type of person that you would want them to be inside and out. There's good people that look like what you want. It's, there's nothing. There's, there's no shallowness in wanting what you want. What you want wants you. You just have to actually want what wants you, if that makes sense. Ooh, we on fire. You, What you want wants you. You just have to find what you want that wants you. All right? You got to find somebody that wants you too. All right? And you can't try to force somebody into wanting you. All the texting in the world is not going to do it. All the haze and highs and good nights and good mornings and how are yous and how you doing, what you doing, uh, uh, where, are, where are you doing. Uh, all that is not going to make that person like you anymore. It's just going to let them know like, wow, this person's really into me. I got somebody in the tuck if I'm ever bored. Wow, this person's really into me. I have an energy source that I could just continuously use to validate myself and feel better. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. You need to become the person that can attract the people you want in your life. You need to wake up, be able to go outside have the life you want to where the people you want are just automatically attracting to you. You look interesting. You look like you're someone. You look like you're about your business. You can't not be what what you, you you can't not be what you're looking for. You have to be what you're looking for so you'll be a vibrational match. So that way you could have the life that you want. That way you could be happy. All right, is is nothing wrong? with wanting a, spe a, a specific type of person. There's billions of people in the world. You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't even have that type if that person didn't exist. You wouldn't even have that type if that person didn't exist. So if, if that person that's your type, that's not into you, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. If you react to that situation like it is, then you're creating a reality in your mind to where no one likes you to where everyone you like is going to act like that if you get so hung up and caught up and 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 stuck on that one person you have to you have to like that person you you've done witchcraft on yourself you are you are possessed by that person their beauty their allure you need to let that go and that's why I say you focus on love from God because when you focus on God's love you'll see people as just another person You'll see them as a child of God. You'll be able to view people the right way. You won't be getting caught up and hung up on people's appearance. You'll be focused on, okay, that's the, I see the beauty. Now, what's up with the inner beauty? How? What type of person are you on the inside? What type of person are you on the inside? Not just about your insides. What type of person are you on the inside? Not just about that person's outside. What type of person is that on the inside? All right, what type what type of person is you on the inside? All right, it's all about what's on the inside that counts. And it's nothing wrong with like it's it's all about what's on the outside that counts too. All right, but it's, it, it, it you have to find someone that likes you. But don't be discouraged because what you like likes you. God did not create you with anything less than someone who you see is beautiful. There's billions of people in the world. Your person is out there. I'm telling you right now, there's trillions of people in the world. Your person's out there. All you have to do is become a vibrational match. You can't be thinking, oh, no one wants me because this one person that is your type did not want you. 
Stop fooling your mind. Stop tricking your mind. Stop in, in, enslaving your mind. Stop trapping your mind in a dimension where nobody wants you because one person, the person that you wanted, was not interested. Don't put so much energy into other people. Use that energy for yourself. Turn that energy back towards you. That way you can pull and attract what you want. When you turn your energy inwards, you become a magnet. You become magnetized for your reality, for your person, for your persons to come to you. All right? So it's all about how you view yourself. If you are texting somebody that's not interested in you, you don't view yourself too well. Because a person that views themselves highly is not going to be interested in someone who's obviously not showing no interest in them. You can't like somebody so bad to where you're playing yourself. All right? I've done it. We've all done it. You don't want to play yourself. That's playing yourself is played out. I said playing yourself is played out. All right? You, you, you don't have to have interest in somebody who's not interested in you. But when you put that amount of time and energy in them, you have to, you did that. Nobody else did that. You you got to wean yourself off from that person now. All right, you, you done got so hype about this person. Now you got to wean yourself off of them. You so caught up, focused on them, wanted them so bad, and then they didn't want you. You you were so worried about what they look like. You wasn't worried about their body language. You were so worried about uh, what they look like and their appearance. You wasn't focused on the energy that they was giving off. It's not just about what they look like. It's not just about somebody being sexy or somebody being good looking or attractive. What type of energy is, the, is, is this person giving off to you? Does the person look like they want you around them? Does the person look like they want to be talked to? Is the person giving you the, the eye like they want to talk to you? Does the person seem interested when you walk past them? Are they even looking at you? Does this person even know you're there? Does this person even know you exist before you walked up to them? Were they sharing glances with you, seeing if you were looking at them, seeing if they were looking at you? I mean, seeing if they, you were looking back? You can't put time and energy into people who don't want it because you, you, it's, you're going to get it wasted. You're going to get your time and energy wasted. Who wants that? Putting all, all this amount of time into somebody, putting all this energy into somebody. When you could be putting that energy into yourself. A lot of all the people, imagine, think, think this year about all the people you put time and energy into. What could he, how much time did you put into other people versus how much time? Did you put into yourself versus how much time did you put into that thing you told yourself you were going to do when the ball dropped last year, when, when at, before Thanksgiving, you done told around Christmas, you told yourself you was going to do all this and this and that, and this year was going to be this and that things are going to be different. And I'm not new year, new me. Did you really do that? Did you, because is it, we, yo, we, we got like two, three months, not even two months left. Three months left. Did you really? Yo, yeah, two months left. October, November. Two months left. Did you did you really do what you said you was going to do? Or did you put all that time and energy into others where it didn't belong? People playing you. People talking about you. People, uh, uh, yo, so-and-so talked to me. I ain't even said they. People out here just playing you. Why? Don't do it to yourself. All right? Don't do it to yourself. You, you, you want to you wanna be able to, to work on you. You want to care about you. You don't want to care about people who don't care about you. When you care about you, everybody else will too. You got to care about you, all right? And you can't be looking for things that you already got. You already have love. You already have enough love. You got enough, you got enough love to give. You got enough love to give. So why not just chill, turn your energy inward, Become polarized. Become magio. You become polarized. All right? Cold. <sighs> become cold. Become polarized. In the sense of, I'm not going to become warm with people who aren't warm with me. You can't just warm up to somebody and they're acting cold to you. Cold for cold. All right? You, 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 are you turning the heat on? 
Oh, you still, you ain't talking. Okay, I, yo, I'm the, you, you on, I'm on. You off, I'm off. You off, I'm off. We on, we off. But you, 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 you'll be able to tell. You don't even have to. You won't even have to ask that question. You'll be able to know what's for you. The energy the person gives off. The body language that they're giving you. You'll know. You'll know who's in a, the, 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 the energy they're giving off. You'll know. So you don't have to force anything. Don't waste your time texting people who aren't texting you back. Because they don't deserve all that. They don't deserve all those texts. Texting them good morning. Texting them good afternoon. They ain't even, they ain't even text you back yet. You still texting them. No good. No good. We, we can't do that no more. Not in 2024. Not not in 2023. All right, you got to stop now to make it a reality in 2024. But, yo, don't do not do that no more. Save that for yourself. I guarantee you, those people, yo, the, they're feeding off your energy. You're their energy source. They're playing you, and they're, they're not answering you to keep you texting them because they say, oh, I got one. They're seeing just how much energy you will give them. Just so they could just keep getting it, keep taking it, keep soaking it all up. And not giving you not a darn thing in return. Just leave, leaving you bone dry. You just pouring all your energy out. Stop. Pour your energy into you. I guarantee you, you will feel a lot better and people will start to recognize you. And, and you'll actually start to attract people like you want. Versus trying to make people like you, trying to force people to 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 talk to you and stuff like that. I know we, I know you want people. I know you want somebody in your life. I know you would like to be with someone. Trust me, I do. But it is what it is. Be happy. Enjoy your life. People will come into your life. Pe- pe- people will come into your life. You'll meet people. You'll have experiences. You'll be able to connect with others. But don't force it because it's no good. It's whack. It's corny. You're going to end up wasting your time. The person's not going to be interested in you. They're going to be interested in who they're interested in. They're going to be out having fun, out enjoying themselves. You're just going to be texting them. They're just going to be looking at their phone like, huh, let me eat my dinner. Huh, let me chill with my babe. Huh, let me chill with my boo. And they ain't going to be chilling with you. But somebody out there does, and they look like how you want them to look. So cheer up. This, this, is, this is good news. This is a, this is, I'm bringing good news, all right? Your person is out there. Your type is out there and they like you. All you got to do is be fix yourself up a little bit. All you got to do is become the best version of yourself. May not even have to, depending on what you're doing with this. You're working on your mind. You may just attract it. They may they may just take you right there, right then and there for who you are. All right. If there's room to improve, always improve and always make yourself better. You know, spice things up, you know, make, make, yo, make, yo, make, make, make it, make it, make it last forever. Make it last forever, okay? Sorry I had to do that to y'all. But, yo, make it last forever. So, yeah, uh, the people that you want are out there for you. You can't just be so caught up on the person that's out there that's not for you. If somebody's not for you, that is okay. That's a blessing. You don't want somebody that's for you. So many people annoy people to be into being with them. And then when the relationship sucks and it's garbage... And you, you throw it in the trash. You wonder why you threw it in the trash. It wasn't it wasn't nothing good in the first place. It was a piece of garbage in the first place. One you, you 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 ain't you didn't see that you didn't want it in the first place. You got caught up on the lure of the person. Everything on the outside don't look good on the inside. Even if it may be good on the inside, it may not be good for you. That may not be the person for you. Y'all may not match. There's good people that don't belong with each other. There's people, there's people that as good as the day is long, believe in God, all that. They just would not be well for each other. So don't, don't go hard on yourself. Don't feel bad about, about your situation. Don't feel bad about your love life. All right. Love is for you. All right. There's, there's, there's people out there for you and you'll, you'll find them. You'll connect with them and they, you know, they're going to, they're going to love you. They're going to like you. They're going to appreciate you. Everything that you want from a person is out there for you. You just have to know that in time, I'll get what's mine. Just because somebody didn't think I'm fine doesn't mean I won't shine. All right? So, yo, for real, there's people out there for you. You'll find your person. Your person is out there for you. 
Don't think they're not, because if you do, then you won't get them. They won't be able to meet you if you're thinking you ain't never going to meet them. Come on, y'all. All right. So what you what you desire desires you. Turn your energy inward. Stop looking for people and, and, and just let 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 live your life and allow your life to draw into it what you what you desire. That's what life will do. The universe will draw and magnetize you what you're magnetizing. You're a pole, you're a, a match. All right, you're a match for what you want, and you're gonna get it. You just gotta believe that you will. All right, so shout out to the chosen vessels, shout out to the galactic family, shout out and salute to Drew Nation. And look, everybody, don't be depressed, don't be sad. If you're alone right now, you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be making yourself better and changing your mind and changing your energy and making yourself who you would want to be around. You got to make yourself who you would want to be around. You want somebody that's in fit and shape, healthy, uh, rich. You got to be fit and shape and healthy and knowledgeable about finances and money and entrepreneurship. Make sense? Can't just be out here, take, 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 expecting, expecting, expecting. You should expect the best. But what are people going to expect from you? You got to expect the best out of yourself first. You got to expect the best out of you. That way, if, if you want to get the best out of somebody else, you better be getting the best out of yourself first. How dare you? That is selfish. You, you know, It's good to be selfish, but you got to be selfish with yourself. You should be selfish with you. Be selfish with you. Be selfish with your time. Be selfish with your energy. Be selfish with, with, what, with what you want from yourself. So that way you'll get the most out of yourself is what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be getting the most out of yourself, creating the best life that you can live here while you're here. And you're supposed to be enjoying that. Get what you want and enjoy it. Simple. Get what you want out of life and enjoy the crap out of it while you're here. Enjoy all of it. Live your life. Have fun. Be happy. Sing. Dance. All right, get yo, get yourself some drip, get you some new clothes, some jewelry, turn up, all right, with your lifestyle, create what you want. You're not supposed to be upset, sad, miserable, unhappy over somebody not texting you back. Like you you, you have to be someone that somebody would want to text. That, that you 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 got to be somebody that somebody would want to text. You you can't not be somebody that somebody would want to text and text them and expect them to text you back. If you're boring or you're not interesting or somebody uh, is not attracted to you or your lifestyle is unattractive, you can't expect people to be attracted to you. And I know it's a hard pill to swallow, but everybody got to everybody got to uh, uh, recognize, uh, recognize real at, at, at some point. You got to recognize what's real at some point. Otherwise, you're going to be playing yourself. And you're not you're not going to be operating on the level of life that you feel you should be. Are you going to be setting yourself up to be played? You're going to be um, setting yourself up to to not have the interactions that you want. When you can, you can have all you can have all the interactions that you would want to have, but you have to that you have to be the person that you would want to have an interaction with. All right, there's no there's no half behind in it out here when you're trying to get what you want out of another person. You have to be able to deliver that as well. You have to be that as well. You have, If you want somebody that takes care of themselves, that looks nice, you have to take care of yourself and you have to look nice. It's just the laws of the universe. You, you get what you give. So you want to be able to give something because you want to be able to get something. So you, you have to be able to give the type of person that you want. You want a loving person, you got to be a loving person, but you got to love yourself first. You have to feel good about yourself first. You, you have to work on yourself to where nobody could tell you anything about who you are. You feel so good about you. And can't nobody tell you nothing about you. Nobody. Nobody can tell you nothing about you. All right? Can't nobody tell you nothing about you. Nobody. So keep working on yourself. Uh, people that you want will come into your life. 
Um, don't feel bad because you may not have people in your life. If you're alone, work on yourself. All right. Uh, trust your instincts. Know that things are going to work out. You're, you're not ugly. You're not uh, defective. You're not, uh, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just that you have to create the life that you want. You have to build yourself into being somebody so that way you can be with somebody. All right. So I hope what I said resonated with you. Stop texting people who aren't texting you back. They're not interested. They're showing you they're not interested. Don't waste your precious days, your precious life being interested in somebody that's not interested in you. You want to put that interest into somebody who is giving you the same level of interest back. If you're not give if you're not giving the same level of interest back, that's whack. If you're not if you if you are not giving the same level of interest back, that is whack. It's whack for you. It's even whack for the other person, even though they won't be honest and let you know they're using you for energy. You're that person's coffee. T- texting them good morning. They like, ooh, good morning from him. Ooh, good morning from her. All right, let me start my day. They ain't even texting you back. They don't even care. They're showing you blatantly that they don't care about you. It's not like they're busy. If they're letting you know they're busy, if they're telling you, hey, I'm going to be busy for the next couple of days, that's different. If the person, you know they got a busy schedule, you know this person is a businessman, you know this is a businesswoman, you know they out there handling theirs, chill, give them some time. Don't be a bugaboo, all right? Don't, 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 even if they are talking to you and they're responsive and they're showing you energy, if they're, if you texting them and you haven't got a text back, chill. They see it. Trust me. Everybody, everybody's on their phone. Everybody's on their phone. They see it. People are busy. People are doing other things. People are preoccupied. So, yo, you don't, you don't have to be a, a needy person. All right. I know some people may have been programmed to be that way. All right. I know some people may have been programmed to, to pour out more love than they're given. All right. As wrong as that may be. I I know some people were programmed to put others first before them. I I get it. Drew Tube understands. I understand some of us were were programmed to put ourselves last and to put everybody else first before us, not not caring about how we end up in the equation. All because other people wanted to have control and manipulate which is which is wrong. You're not you're supposed to control yourself. You're supposed to manipulate your own mind, manipulate the energy in your life, and control what you got going on around. And then invite other people, invite other people to be a part of your life. Somebody who's willingly accepting and wanting wanting to be a part of your life and aid you in your process. More power to it. More power to you. More power to them. All right. As long as they are willing to aid you in that process whatever that process may be, all right? So if you are a a music artist, somebody should be helping you uh, look up samples or somebody should be helping you promote, all right? Don't be with nobody that is not with you. You working on this, you working on that, and then they not, they not, hey, share this. Hey, help me with this. The person's not doing that, all right? I know, I I, I done done hooked this video up. I done gave you all a lot, all right? Uh, uh, this, this is a video that was supposed to be on not texting people who don't text you back, but it's also a video on people who don't reciprocate the same love or energy or affection, whatever you want to call it. Don't give it back. It's time for you to go in the opposite direction, away from them. You, you know, it's love for love out here. All right, it's love for love out here. If people aren't giving you the energy back, that means it's not there. They can't give you what they don't have. People could say, people could talk a good game. People could say this, that, and the other. People could baby, 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 baby. They could baby you to death. They could boo you to death. They could babe you to death. All right, they could, they could all, all the little pet love names to death. But is, is their action matching their words? Don't let these people love bomb you. Is their action matching their words? All right. Don't text people and don't keep wasting your energy. All right, I, I done gave you a lot in this video. All right, do, do not text people that ain't giving you the time of day. All right, don't text people that's wasting your time and energy, not reciprocating it, not responding, not texting you back. 
Once they don't text you back, move on. If you texted somebody, they don't text you back, move on. There's other people in the world who got to get over it. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. I know this video might have hurt. I know it might, it might have been a little painful for some, but it's only for it's only to help you so you can grow. And so that way you'll be able to thank me later and be like, yo, thank you for that, man. Thank you for that, Drew Tube, because I know somebody out there needed to hear this. I'll see you all in the next video. I'll talk to you later. Peace.